Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am headed into Goodwill. I'm on the hunt for something and today or tomorrow I am doing some gnomes with my co-workers are coming to my house. We're gonna make some of the, my gnomes. Thought I would do some vlogging this weekend. I just stopped at Starbucks. I need to stop with the coffee, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not so much buying out, but on the weekends it's a treat. During the week I tend to go to Dunkin' Donuts, which is by my work, and on the weekend Starbucks because there's not one on my side of town. And I got a little sinusy today. So what I got at the last Good Books, this is my second one, I found this fabric. It is black background and it was 99 cents. It's an old navy scarf but I'm gonna use it for um, some spring gnome hats. And I think it's awesome. And it's really nice fabric too. Um, and I like the little fringe, just polar fleece, but it's nice fleece, you, you know the difference. But this will make several hats. I don't know what everybody wants to do tomorrow. If we're gonna do Easter gnomes, they can make whatever they want. So this is 99 cents for the fleece that I bought. I'm on the hunt for some uh, cross-stitch kits, maybe, at Goodwill, because I think that's a great place to look for a kit. Not that I'm starting, well, I am starting something else. Not today, maybe today. I doubt today. But I have those Easter patterns, so I think I'm going to work on my cat until the end of February, maybe. And then the beginning of March, I'm going to start on the Easter ones. Or maybe before. They shouldn't take long. I think I can knock one out a night. I want two bunnies and two eggs. And the bunnies are mostly one color and it's just color block. So that those should be pretty easy to do. Um, the eggs have a little more color changing. So maybe I'll make four bunnies. I don't know. But I want some of the little pillows for Easter to decorate with. And then I'm going into the Dollar Tree. This is around the corner. Sorry, I hit a button on my car. Um, I'm going into the Dollar Tree, and then I am um, going to go home. I have some housework to do, and then I need to go to Costco before um, this day is out. And then I was going to make cinnamon rolls for my company tomorrow, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or in the morning. I think they're coming at like 1, so I can do that in the morning, and I'll bring you along for that as well, although I think you've seen me make cinnamon rolls before. Um, but I thought that would be a fun treat. All right, I'm gonna head to the Dollar Tree and to Goodwill, and then if there's anything to show you, I will. Oh, that place was a zoo. I'm at the Goodwill still. But I found one thing. No cross-stitch kit kits. Let me fix you. Oh, I'm sorry, let me fix you. No cross-stitch kits, but I did find, guys, it's a four pack of Starbucks ornaments. And like this cup here was their cup from 1971. I'm assuming that's the year they were established, but I don't know. And this was the 1992 cup that came out. This one came out in 2011. And then in 2011, that's the holiday cup. What? I don't even know when this, this was from 2011 at Starbucks. So there's four ornaments and I know these are $8.99 a piece and they were $3.29 for all four of them. So when I go home, I'll just stash it with my Christmas stuff. And speaking of Christmas stuff, sorry, I'm looking for my other receipt. I um, was thinking, I, you know, I've, we're, our channel's growing, guys, which is great, but I'm not sure I'll be able to do the exchange Christmas cards next year. I, it's getting pricey with the stamps, which is not you, not on you, it's on me. However, I was thinking of doing a subscriber tree. Like, I have an extra Christmas tree. I say extra, I have a second Christmas tree. It was my old Christmas tree, I bought a new Christmas tree, and so now I have this second Christmas tree. And I was thinking of setting it up in my craft room, and I got a 
you know, some ornaments this year in the mail, like some paper ornaments that I'm going to keep and put on my tree next year. And I have little wooden ones and some cards. And I'm thinking of making like my YouTube Christmas tree. But what do you guys think? Is that weird? I don't know. And any ornaments or cards that I get, I can put on the tree in my YouTube room. And that would make me happy for lots of reasons. So what do you think? Let me know below. We'll talk about it. It's February. We've got, you know, 11 months. But I just bought some ornaments. But this would be on my downstairs tree. Heck, I'm about ready to have a coffee tree. Not really, but. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Because I think that would be so fun. And I get a fair amount of cards. And it would be fun to display them on a tree and any ornaments and things. And then I could just, you know, every year bring out the ornaments again. And that could be my crazy lady life tree. I don't know. All right, we're going to the Dollar Tree and then Aldi because there's stuff that I need. We're home. Guys, I just learned something at the age of 49. Carbon monoxide monitors have a shelf life. I had no idea. I came home from the store. I'm dragging stuff in the house and I hear beeping. I'm like, what is beeping? My smoke detectors are wired in, so it's not that. So I'm looking, looking, and it was coming from my carbon monoxide detector. So I pull it off. I'm like, maybe it needs new batteries. I put new batteries in it. No. Nothing is helping. Beep, beep. Every 30 seconds. So I Google it, because that's what you do, right? And apparently, this is a KIDDI brand. And it said that it will do a double beep every 30 seconds when it ends its um, shelf life, when it's near the end of its life for this carbon monoxide detector. So this is manufactured April 16th of 2012. It said seven years, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It actually went almost a year longer, but it's more than seven years old, so I had to replace it. I went on to the Amazon, because that's where you get everything, right? And it was $17. Hopefully it's the same one, because I don't want to have to remount something, but I just replaced it with the exact same thing. I'll keep that in case, but. All right, I just got home from the Aldi pork rinds, and look what they have. This is my favorite brand at Aldi, and this is salt and pepper, and they had barbecue, but I like the salt and pepper, and they were $1.75, which isn't bad, and then I got my plain pork rinds, which needs to get put away, um, feast your eyes on this, guys, on the clearance, this is all chocolates, different flavored chocolate, truffle, caramel chocolate, chocolate raspberry, white chocolate, it's all Valentine's Day. It was regularly $6.99 for this pack. I was trying to see how many come in it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different flavors of 12 different coffee pods for my Keurig. $1.74. Perfect deal on that. I got my cheese for the week. Um, instead of making cinnamon rolls, because who has time this weekend? I don't. I'm going to make my guests some dill chocolate muffins. Thought that would be fun and delicious and everybody will enjoy. Um, my coffee that I picked up was some cinnamon spice. Pretty sure this is leftover from Christmas, but I don't care. That's perfectly fine. Um, I did get some fast rising yeast for when I do make cinnamon rolls. I need that and it's 89 cents. I grabbed two things of cream for my coffee. One avocado. I tried to eat a little avocado during the week. It's a good healthy fat. And I like it on my chaffle. And then I picked up two pounds of bacon because this week I'm going to do bacon and egg something. Maybe a frittata. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to need bacon and eggs. So for breakfast, so I need to put that away. Oh, and I got some mayonnaise. And this is made with avocado oil. It still has soybean oil, but it's not the first ingredient. So it is better for us. And then the other thing I picked up are these they're 10 let me put this down and i will show you they are pet food containers um they're clear on the back and these are polka dots gray they also had a blue and white stripe that said sit eat or something 
but they're sealed up here, which is nice. It'll keep your food fresh. And it even comes with a scoop with a half cup and a one cup measurer. So I grabbed two because we're a two pet food kind of house apparently with the boys anymore. They were $9.99. I thought that was a really good deal. So I grabbed that. Now I'm going to put some stuff away and then you tidy up and then I might work on my cross stitch and I will show you where I'm at on that. But I need to put these in my fridge and put this without batteries back on the wall because it's annoying and it has these little red things so it knows when it has a battery or not but I'm gonna put it on the wall and wait for mine to come tomorrow all right everybody I'm getting ready for company but I just wanted you to see my pretty baby hi dubbers hi baby okay side note um, we're making gnomes today oh here's Alex say hi buddy he's not saying hi we're making gnomes today so I brought down the plastic table, and then over here I have all the accoutrement set up. I gotta put Valentine's away, but we have yarn in case we want to make girls. Um, I just bought some other fur. We have some fur in here. I have felt, some different fabric for hats, socks for bodies or hats, different seasons, Easter, some twine for tying. I thought these might be cute for a more rustic gnome for the nose and maybe a bunny tail. Other noses in case we want to wire things, scissors, noses, just all the stuff. Kitty cat eating my plants. Out of there, buddy. My little plant corner. They sit over here until spring when they can go back to the front window, which does get more sun. But look at my beautiful orchid. My coworker, one of them who's coming over today, actually bought me that after my mom passed away. And it's been going strong for the last three years. It does need to be transplanted, I'm fairly certain. And then I have some succulents back here. Yeah. Uh, my, my boss got me a crazy cat lady mug. And look at the bottom. I think her wife actually picked it out for me. Oh, and then I baked a treat for my friends who's coming over. I made chocolate muffins and pumpkin muffins. So hopefully I can bring you along. Oh, the bunnies and the leprechaun. The Easter con? The Easter bunny leprechaun. All right, we are finishing up tonight. Oh, sorry, Dub. Um, I wanted to show you a couple things. First of all, can you see that blood? There, over here, there's a health clinic at my work. It's um, part of Ohio Health, which is the hospital here. Um, they, they power our fitness center and we're partners with them. What, what are we doing here, sir? Okay, he, Al, Dubby. He wants to sit with me. Anyway, they so they have a health center in our um, building. It's very convenient. Um, I need to have my vitamin D checked. So I was like, hey, let me just run down there instead of taking time off work to go to the doctor to have blood for them to send me to the lab. So I went down six times. Two of them stabbed me six times. My camera's a little crooked here, guys. Sorry. So I said, oh. We're done. Went to my lab across the street. Now I'm all bruised up. Okay, anyway, I wanted to show you my gnome bunny <laughs> that we made today. This is a sock from the Dollar Tree. This is a sock from the Dollar Tree. I got these. This is some trim I got at Joanne today. It was 70% off. Dollar Tree and just some felt for his ears. And then this was just some leftover stuff. And I think he's super cute. I didn't do a video because I had, um, how many were there of us? Six of us making gnomes today. Hi, baby. All right, so to finish off, I wanted to show you my progress on my cross-stitching. And I actually finished something today, which is weird. Okay, so and then I think I'm going to start a secondary channel um, just for yarny, stringy goodness. Um, my knitting, cross-stitching, needle felting. So all the more artisan type stuff and because I don't know if everybody will be interested where this is mainly a Dollar Tree DIY kind of channel 
So I think I will do that. Um, start a secondary. I'm, I'm working out the kinks and what that's going to look like. Because it, I don't have a lot going on over, you know, I'm a monogamous crafter when it comes to like my knitting. I have maybe three works in progress. A big one, two purse size, and then a long-term scrappy blanket. Um, and then obviously I just started doing cross stitch and my felting. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be still me. I'm just going to rename it. It'll be more over there. So I, I will let you know if that happens. But I wanted to show you I have a finish. <laughs> it's just a little bunny. Um, this color is a really dark purple. And that's like a silvery gray. And it's just a tiny little bunny. And what I'm going to do with the tiny bunny is make little pillows. And I'll show you the pattern. I purchased it on Etsy. Um, from a feathered stitch. And it's just bunnies. And I'm thinking I did the pink bunny and a couple eggs is all. So I grabbed that. Um, and I think I showed you before, these are the colors that I'm choosing for Easter for different, I need to find a carrot pattern. I think I can find a free one of that cause I would like to make a carrot. And yeah, so these are kind of the colors I am utilizing for the Easter season this year. So I have all my floss and I have my pattern. What you doing there, buddies? And then I'm keeping it all because cats. In these bags, they're like a vinyl plastic. Now I know you can get them at the container store for like $2.99 a piece, um, but I just ordered a pack of 10 for like $8.99, I think, which is fine. I mean, I'll, I can use them for all different stuff including like document storage because it would be water resistant i wouldn't say waterproof because your zipper could probably take on water but this material is definitely you know crinkly vinyl-y so for i'm just thinking to keep the cats out of my floss although they don't really mess with it but they're fur so anyway i have that i have my little bunnies finished and then i'll show you my cat and then i can I had purchased a couple things today. Um, this is where I'm at on this cat. This is the main body. He needs a couple more flowers and a lot of black and a lot of color changing going on. Uh, but this is the, right here is the majority, this one chart. So there's six charts, but like part of this tail and the tush was one chart. The little tip of the tail was a chart. This chart here is the main body. Then I have the hat, the head, and then two arms up front. So, I mean, once I finish this chart, and it's just mostly putting in two more flowers and then like touching up the centers and things, then it's just black fill-in. And I like it a lot. Um, the one thing I don't love, and I think it's because of the gauge of Ada that I'm using, if you can see some white in there, and I feel like, and maybe you cross-stitchers will know, um, the DMC black doesn't seem to cover as well as, like, the other colors. I don't know. But anyway, I'm working on this. I ordered it on, again, Etsy. Um and I don't have the front picture, so let's see if I can grab that real quick. Here it is. It is, the seller name is x Stitchin, but that's a picture of what it's going to look like. And you see the body is the majority of chart six, and then it's just the head and the two arms. So I'm doing pretty good. I started this project on February 1st, and I need to document that in my, um, where did my puppy go? Oh, here it is. I need to document that in my little journal that I'm going to keep for my new projects, be it cross stitch or knitting. Now, um, I have already started a couple of knitting projects. I, I have all the knitting projects going that are going to happen. One is a pretty long term. It's a sweater. And, you know, I don't have a lot of time to work on that. And then I have a mittens, a pair of mittens, and a pair of socks. And then I have my scrappy blanket. Oh, honey, let's let's not lay on that thing. You see, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> he has an entire house to to lay on, and he chooses to lay on top of this one square of fabric. All right. 
anyway, so that's all the crafty goodness. Now to go th that I've completed, I ran into Joann's today looking for a fall color, like that's fall, a spring color backing. And I found this, it's like a sage green with polka dots. So I'm gonna back my little pillows with this. It's a shirting fabric, but it's lovely. It's like a sage, I guess I would say. More in, more in the color family that I'm going to like. So I'm going to back them with that. And then on the edging, you're not going to be able to see this too well, but it's velvet trim. This is gray, and this is like a burgundy, and they'll both match. And I'm just going to go around the edges hand sewing these on. So I picked that up, and then I had, um, that's to finish the bunny. It, I'm going to finish knitting the other pieces before I get the sewing machine out and do all of that. Um, and then I had a 60% off coupon, so I just picked up this Dimension little kit. Um, it's your hoop, the pattern, and the floss. Um, it's, a four, it's the thread, the 14 count Ada, a hoop, a needle, instructions. And I like this snowflake. So I'm thinking at Christmas time I can do several and maybe make, you know, just buy the hoop and some other red floss or different colors of red, maybe a green, I don't know. But for right now I have one, tiny little, and this thing was $7.99. I find that to be a little pricey uh, for a tiny tot little or kit, but it does come with the Ada, the floss and all that. So anyway, and I got a 40% off coupon. Okay, and then I ran into Target real quick just to see what I could see. And they had, and I wanted to share this with you, um, like the Valentine's, all that stuff that came out in winter was 50% off. Um, I didn't need a whole lot of stuff, but I grabbed two of these, one for me and one for Sarah. We travel a fair amount, and these are nice, especially, um, they're nice and soft and squishy shampoo conditioner. That's the big thing in my world, and then I needed some new ones of these. Um, what I like is they have a pretty big mouth to fill them. They're a nice silicone. They are TSA approved size. And then the top opens to, to, um, squeeze out. Now they had clear, they had like a nice neat little green and a purple. The problem I have is I need to be able to see what's in them to know if it's my shampoo or conditioner. So. And then it has, so it has two this size and then this little tiny size, which may end up being for like my hair gel or moisturizer. It's just a smaller of the same, but it's nice and these are nice and squishy and they're very good quality. So they were regularly $5. I got these for $2 and 50 cents. So I grabbed two, um, one for me, one for Sarah. And then I also grabbed two of these, one for me, one for Sarah, and I'll open it up and show you. These are tech bags for when you travel. The beauty of these, I'm going to pull them out. They also had one for shoes, which is nice. But one says tech and one says gear. But this is neoprene. It's waterproof. They're drawstring. So when you're traveling and you have stuff in your backpack, this is great for your camera, your cell phones, anything, your chargers, and it keeps everything kind of together. And it's a baby blue and a gray. And they, like I said, they say tech and gear, but these are great for your backpack to keep things situated. Heck, you can even put snacks in one. I don't know that I would put snacks in one, um, but they're great. Especially if you do like the beach, sandy places. Um, last season they had a bag of the same material, but it had zippers, and I have purchased that, and it was great for the beach to keep my stuff free of sand and moisture. Because typically, like in my backpack, if I'm on a day trip somewhere, I tend to keep my phone charger, maybe my memory or my charging bank. Sorry for all the crinkling. And, um, that kind of stuff and and then a bottle of water of course so you know just for safety's purposes I will say these are a great little travel thing to have and they were three dollars for two and then I got them for a dollar fifty 
Um, the last thing I got on clearance was this little tiny, and it was, it's a backpack. I'm going to open it up and look at it. Um, it's a full collapsible backpack. So this fits in your travel size. Because again, like my next big trip I'm planning is to Ireland next, next June. Oh, it folds inside of itself. So these are great to have to run around the city, to run around wherever you're going for a day pack. It's super light, nice construction. This one has adjustable straps, and if it doesn't fit me, I'll give it to Sarah. The pocket that it actually goes in turns inside out and becomes a little pocket in here. And then it zips up, closed. And it's just a tiny little lightweight. You can even use this for the grocery store. I mean, there's a hundred things you can use this for. And then when you're done, you flip it back inside out and everything goes right back in this little pocket. And it's a great day pack size, is what I'm saying. And it looks pretty sturdy. It's going to be water resistant, which is nice and lightweight. I'll fold it back up after the fact, <laughs> after I'm done talking. But I thought that was great for $3. Perfect. Um, then the other two things I grabbed, I know this is in the children's section, but it's a magnifying glass. And with this needlework stuff, sometimes I can't see what I'm trying to see. So I thought, hey, put this in my knitting uh, crafty little basket over here. And if I need something to be magnified because I'm getting to be that age for $1, please, and it's cute. And then the last thing I got is going to go into, um, well, one's for me, into Sarah's Easter basket. I think I'm going to do like a spring garden themed Easter basket for her because she has a house now and plants so I'm going to get her some good uh, clippers some gloves and then this little sign here it says plant a seed and watch it grow it's a little metal sign that goes just in a in a potted plant in her house or out front but um it's just a little hanging sign I loved it and it was just a dollar it's just a little something something to put in her Easter basket. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get her some clippers, you know, plant accoutrements, some garden gloves, um, some clippers, maybe some uh, plant food for her house plants. She has a lot of house plants, stuff like that. And candy, of course. But, you know, I thought my theme would be Easter. Oh, my nail is like... It's snagging all right well that is everything i have for you on this vloggy monday morning i hope you enjoy and let me know below what you think um i'm tossing around some names just a name for my other channel um like i said it's gonna be more wool fibery crafty stitchy business and less on this channel because i think this is really dedicated to diys and hauls dollar tree frugal living. All right, everybody, if you have any questions, post them below. If you would, could like, subscribe, and share, it really helps out my channel. And I will talk to you guys later. Happy Monday!